hike number six in this series, the one with clouds. Maybe I won't get roasted alive for a change. That'll be nice. This one might interwind with some urban stuff. As you can hear, there's probably a car going by. Oh yeah, bring it close to people. And that means a lot of good photo ops. Man. I think I gotta play Frogger. time one side clears up the other side pot wait oh. I think I got an opening go, go. ready to see the first chaos tree of the day look at that monster I think I can make something out of this tree it's got to find the correct spot to stand Ooh, <laughs> not there, a little off balance. It appears I riled up the ants when I stepped on that log. It'd be best I don't put my camera near there. Unless I want ants in my ectar. So here we go, I've got my 50 millimeter lens on the camera, and up at this big ass tree. And now we gotta take the picture. There's deer in them woods. Why do I not have my long lens on when there's a deer within deer street photography range? This is gonna be so underexposed. Oh, deer. Baby deer. I guess that was an attempt at a street photography with deer, but for sure the shutter speed is going to be too slow and the whole thing might possibly be well underexposed, but there was an attempt. So with confirmed deer activity, I'm going to go ahead and put my longest lens on and the flash. Now to make it extremely awkwardly comically huge to put our Darth Vader flash on. <laughs> now this is how you photograph deer. So of course I take the wrong stupid road trying to find the connector trail and as punishment, now I have to hike up one of the hills that have the steepest grade in all town. I think this one hits about 18%? I'll look it up and flush it on the screen. But it's a steep one. And I'm feeling it. You know it's bad when the sidewalk has a handrail. Ooh. Then after a second wrong turn, I can finally see my hole back into the darkness of the woods. Later, all you virus up to suburbanites. Not gonna lie, smells like garbage right here. <clears throat> so this particular trail section isn't really on any official maps, so it makes a lot of forks and goes random places and don't always gonna know where you're gonna end up. Let's go this way and see how bad we get lost. Well, I found some markers. All hope is not lost. I'm not gonna be vanished quite yet. Oh, and I got a cliff. Let's go this way. Oh my God, this is kind of chaos. I need both my hands so you get to ride on my shoulder. Like the parrot. This is really steep. 
I might die here. Oh boy, more of this. A part of me likes to photograph random garbage and stuff I find. Is really excited about all these flags. have been vomited onto a road. I'm gonna chase this road for a while until we get back on the trail. And then I guess keep hiking, taking photos. What else am I gonna do? Oh, hello, my trail friend. Foot travel only, good. So this here is the kind of mushroom stuff I'm going to find. I'm gonna snap one of it real quick, but I'm gonna go crazy and do this close-up photo in nasty flash mode. Throwback to how I've been shooting for the last 20, 20, about 10 years. Color film, medium format film, big ass flash. And trigger. Why didn't that happen? Try it again. You rotten son of a... Oh my god. Well, if my flash isn't going to be triggering, what fun is that? Can't photograph the squirrel if I get it. You dirty. Very upset right now. I'll have to debug this later. So I guess... It means I put up the tripod and shoot this one in classic mode. Well, thanks to Flashy McBuzzkill back there, but now I have three exposures left instead of five. I mean, it's not like I can't load more film, but I was kind of hoping this to keep this on a nice one roll trajectory. What if I find something really awesome at the end and I want to take five pictures of it? And I have to reload in that case. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a half berry tarp. Neon blue is not a color I've experienced yet on these hikes, so I gotta do my thing. Good old Mr. 80 millimeters and get enough love on this adventure so far, right? I want this one to have all the sharpness, so we're gonna go real slow, small f-stop. And done. God, I hope there's not a body under this tarp. That would be a sad discovery. It doesn't stink, so either it's really an old body or there's no body. Probably no body. Well, this path is nice and overgrown. Ooh. Some more of this plant, plant-based pathing. Oh God, that was a big step. Well, it smells like trash again. I think that means I've successfully escaped the deep dark woods. Ooh. And we'll live to be able to edit this video. That's a plus. But I gotta hand it to this low light right now, creeping into the woods. The way these trees are lit are kind of nice. So I guess I'm gonna burn my last two exposures on it. The camera's sounding weird and not giving me a meter reading. Well, let's hope for the best. Really need to start bringing an external meter with me because sometimes I get in these situations where it doesn't seem like it wants to meter. It's too dark for it. Okay, so a light meter app that I just downloaded real quick tells me six seconds at F4. So we're gonna try to do this. Count to six, ready? One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, and one more for reciprocity. 
and of roll. I've done it. I've returned to humanity. And whatever that thing is that's beeping. Let's so talk about this for some nice, kinda almost purpley sunset amongst the fields with a sign, do not enter. Spray painted to look scary. What's it say? I don't know, but I'm gonna photograph it. So this setup is a wee bit precarious. Didn't have the camera going when I fell and slid down the little hill here, but I lived. Unlike these mosquitoes that are in my ear. Get off my nose. Did I focus? I did not focus. How embarrassing would that be if I forget to focus? Eighth of a second, sounds good. Alright, so I'm not even going to tear down between the next one because I see a whole playground of photography in front of me. It's one of my favorite things out of season hockey rinks. It does appear that somebody devastated a beanbag chair in this dugout cotton everywhere. We're going to do one more of these yellow things with hockey rink in background. Four seconds. That should be easy. Okay, it's pretty dark now, so I think I'm just going to pack up the camera and tripod and hike my ass back through the deep dark woods back to my car. Yeah, that's it for tonight.